All right, it's 11.30 exactly. So y'all ladies ready to get started? Yes. So today we will begin in reclining bound angle. For this, we're just going to sit the lungs. We're going to bring our feet together here. And then we're going to slowly work our way backwards. So if you'd like, you can plant the hands on the mat behind your hips and pull the abs in toward the spine and just slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time here. Once you make it down onto your back, let the arms come to the sides, palm facing upward, and the shoulder blades together beneath you, opening up your chest here, letting the shoulders sink back towards your mouth. need to if you've got maybe some pillows or something that you can plant beneath your knees or maybe a little like throw blanket or something at home mm -hmm. and your knees to keep your hips from opening up too much you can go ahead and use one of those now and once we find the pose and we get settled here let us begin to Bring our focus inward. Ignore all outside distractions. Our hour is our time. Let's do a scan of the body here, maybe starting at the toes, coming all the way up, gradually up the feet, moving all the way up to the crown of the head, just checking in, getting a baseline, seeing how you feel here. Note of areas that seem to be especially tight today. if there's any place where you might be clenching, maybe the jaw, maybe the place in between your eyebrows, whatever it may be. And then after taking a moment just to scan the body here, let us then begin to do that same scan, but this time we're telling each body part as we scan to do the release and the relax. Enjoying the sensation of feeling heavier and heavier. Feeling comfortable knowing that as we allow things to sink closer to the mat that we're not going to fall, we're not going to get hurt. Bring our attention to our breathing. That's going to help to ground us even more. So, just like we did with the body, let's start by just simply observing our breath. Pay attention to the quality of your breathing, the depth of each breath. Whether or not we're tensing up our jaw or squeezing our shoulders out to our ears. Here, let us come into our controlled three part breathing. So, the first part is going to be a deep, slow inhale through the nose. The second part is a brief pause at the top of your inhale. And the third part is a long, slow exhale out through the nose.
practice this a few times. Inhaling through the nose. Pause. Exhaling out through the nose. Remember to keep the shoulders relaxed as we breathe this way. Instead, let the diaphragm work. So as you inhale, that belly's gonna rise. And as you exhale, the belly will fall. And then the shoulders will remain relatively still. So if at any point you become distracted and maybe the mind becomes busy, bring your focus back to this breathing. And it will help you feel a little bit more centered, a little bit more calm. So transitioning out of this pose on an inhale, we're gonna bring the knees back together. And we'll begin by squeezing the knees into the chest here. Try your best to keep the lower back and the tailbone pressed into the mat here so that we're protecting that. Elongating the spine this way. And if it feels nice, you can always rock side to side. Feel free to even match this movement up with your breathing. Inhaling as you come to center, exhaling as you fold to one side. Come back to stillness just for a moment, and then we're going to roll the knees around in circles here. And you can either roll the knees together, or you can roll them independently of each other. Just going one way first, and then the opposite way next. Again, keeping that lower back pressed into the mat. Just try and get into the rotator cuffs here. Send some synovial fluid and fresh oxygen to those joints that we just stretched out. So let the feet come back down to the mat and find stillness for a moment. We're gonna slowly transition our way up to a seated pose so that we can come into staff. And you can either um, use your abs and your hands to come up or if it's a little easier, you can just roll to one side and use your hands to press yourself up here. So once you make it to your seated pose, get the sit bones grounded into the mat, extend the legs out in front of you. Have the toes of the feet pointing up toward the ceiling, but try not to lock out the knees. Make sure that there's um, a little bit of wiggle jiggle here. So we'll start off by sitting up tall, pretending like there's a rope attached to the crown of your head, pulling you up straight. And then on an inhale, send the arms up and over. And on your exhale, slowly begin to come forward. Feel free to round the back here. Let the hands come down to the mat. You have a choice with the palms. You can leave them down on the mat if that helps you feel a little bit more grounded. But if you're having the kind of day where you want to feel a little bit more energetic after this class, then you can leave the palms facing upward. And then try to tuck the chin in toward the chest so that the neck stays in line with the rest of your spine.
On an inhale, pull your belly button into your spine. Place your hands next to your hips and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let the head be the last thing to come. Nice. And from here, just some little wiggle jiggles with the legs, especially if you lost any oxygen. come into dragonfly. So for this, we're going to open up the legs in a wide V shape here. Just go to your edge. Try not to let anything tug or pull on the inside of the thighs. We just want to feel a good stretch here. And just like before, we want to leave some little wiggles in the knees here so that they're not locked out, but then have the toes pointed up. And then on an inhale, reaching up super tall with the arms. And then exhale, round forward. Let the hands come down to the mat. Palms can face up for energy or down if we want to feel grounded and relaxed. Keeping the chin tucked in so that the neck stays in line with the spine. We don't want the neck to hurt afterward. Holding here, enjoying your three part breathing.
All right, on an inhale, pull that belly button into the spine to engage the core, maybe even using the hands on the mat to help push you up, all the way up one vertebrae at a time. And then let's bring those legs back together. Again, we can start with a wiggle jiggle, but then we'll also follow that up with windshield vipering the knees by planting the hands behind you and then just swaying the knees side to side here. Knowing that you can either move intuitively, just moving in a way that is mindful and feels good to you, or you can match it up with your breathing. Inhaling as we come to center, exhaling as we let the knees fall to one side. Enjoying the way that this slows us down. So now let us find our way onto our backs. And I'm going to turn around backwards so that you all can see what I'm doing with my legs. But you can go ahead and just come down comfortably to your mat. So as you come down, just make sure that you're keeping everything protected. So tuck the chin into the chest, maybe even use the hands for support, and just roll it down one vertebrae at a time. And once you make it down on your back, make sure that your lower back is pressed into the mat and not arching up because that'll hurt in the middle. If you'd like, you can shimmy the shoulder blades together beneath you, helping to open up across the chest here. We're going to come into reclined shoelace. It's a little bit easier, more accessible version of shoelace. The way that we do this is that we're going to stack the right knee over the left, just like you would do if you were just sitting in a chair and crossing your legs. But then on an inhale, we're gonna pull the belly button into the spine and lift the knees up, bringing them in toward your chest. And then placing the hands just beneath the kneecaps here, or if you're able to get it all the way to the ankles, congratulations, you can try that. <laughs> but for me, my hands are gonna be just beneath my kneecaps, and I am gently gently pressing my knees in toward my chest. I'm feeling a stretch on my IT band. That's the outside part of my right hip. If it's burning or pinching, then release the hands and just let the natural weight of gravity give you a stretch instead. So don't go too deeply into this. Holding here, enjoying your breathing. Well, I'm trying to work out right now. Maybe we work with work on another
right, releasing the hands from the knees, uncrossing your legs. Let us start with some windshield wipers here. So bring those feet back down to the mat, have them about hips width apart, and then just sway the knees side to side. Again, moving intuitively or matching this up with your breathing. And then if you'd like, you can squeeze the knees into the chest, maybe roll the knees around in circles here. Whatever helps to release that IT band, that's the outside of the hip. All right. Coming back to stillness, let's set up on the other side. So we're going to, this time, cross the left knee over the right. And then whenever we're ready, pulling the knees up toward the chest, keeping the tailbone grounded into the mat. And then decide what you need here. Maybe just the natural weight of gravity is giving you enough of a stretch on the outside of that left hip. Maybe you need a little bit more pressure. And if that's the case, place the hands beneath the kneecaps, or if you're able to get all the way to the ankles, you can do that. And just gently pressing in toward the chest here. Try to respect any sort of current or past injuries here. You don't want to aggravate anything. Just enjoy a stretch. Thank you. 
Releasing the hands if you're holding the knees, uncrossing the legs here, bringing the feet back down to the mat and enjoying just swaying the knees side to side here. And then after swaying the knees side to side for a moment, feel free to move the knees around in circles, getting down into those rotator cuffs. And you can do like I'm doing right now, moving the knees together, but if it's easier, if it feels better, you can always move the knees separately from each other. Whichever version feels good to you, maybe a little bit of both. If you'd like, you can even extend the legs out straight here. Ha, ah, just take a full body stretch. We're going to slowly switch things up and transition away from the hips and legs. And we're going to work our way up to tabletop. So it may be easiest just to roll to one side and press yourself up here. And slowly work your way into tabletop. So with tabletop, we come to hands and knees, and we're gonna make sure that we have the knees directly beneath our hips and the wrists directly beneath our shoulders to protect our joints here. And with the hands, we wanna make sure that we have the fingers spread super wide, and we want most of the weight in toward the index finger and the thumb. And once we have that established, let's go ahead and wake up the spine a little bit with some cat cows. So starting with an inhale, we drop the chest and belly, we take the chin to the ceiling. And then on our exhale, we round the back, follow the wave in the opposite direction, tucking the chin into the chest, rounding the back so that you look like a Halloween cat. And then coming back into cow as you inhale. Just follow your own breathing pattern here. Move in a way that feels good to you. And as you begin to loosen up, feel free to add some of your own movement here. Maybe you just swing the hips side to side. Maybe sinking the hips back trying to touch one heel and then the other. Also feels really nice on the hips after we've done so many hip openers today. You're also welcome to move in figure eight. All right, let's come back to stillness and find a neutral spine here. And we're gonna come in to thread the needle. So we'll begin on the right side. We're gonna put the weight into our left hand. Inhale as we rotate our heart open toward the right hand side. And then as we exhale, we're gonna scoop the right arm beneath the left, coming down to our right shoulder and right face cheek. And we can let the left arm rest on the mat but if you want a little spinal twist here, you can drape your left arm behind you and slightly open your heart open toward the left hand side.
place your left hand beneath your left shoulder. Inhale and press that left hand into the mat to lift yourself back up to your tabletop. Go ahead and get set up here. Feel good about this. Really press that index finger and thumb into the mat. And maybe take some cat cows here as well. A little bit of movement. And if you'd like, you can also sink yourself back to a child's pose, bringing the hips back to touch the heels, maybe extending the arms out in front of you or feeling welcome to drape the arms beside you. Whatever release feels good to your shoulders here. Take your time here. Come back to that three-part breathing if you've lost it. So slowly finding your way back to your tabletop, coming into a neutral spine. Let's even things out and do this on the other side. This time we press the right hand into the mat. Inhale, rotate the heart open toward the left hand side. As you exhale, scoop that left arm beneath the right, bring the left shoulder down to the mat, and then the left face cheek. You can always rest your right forearm down on the floor if you'd like. But if you want a little spinal twist here, you can drape that right arm behind you, opening up the heart to the right hand side.
with your right hand beneath your right shoulder. Inhale, press that right hand into the mat, coming back up to your tabletop. Get established here, and then maybe take some cat cows. But also, if it just feels good to sink it back to a child's pose and extend the arms out, you can do that. Maybe even try a child's pose and try to get a little stretch in between the shoulders by bringing the palms together and bending at the elbow, bringing the thumbs back to the back of your neck. You can also come into rabbit pose where you bring the top of the head to the mat, draping the arms beside you. Whichever release helps you feel good in your shoulders here. All right, so wherever you're at, let's slowly work our way back onto our backs. And I'm going to begin by coming down to my sit bones first. And then I'm gonna extend my legs out here. And then we're just gonna really take our time here so that we protect our back as we come down, tucking the chin in, maybe using the hands for support, pulling the abs in, rolling down very carefully here. All right, once you get all the way down to your back, make sure, like I always, that the lower back is really pressed into the mat here. And we're gonna work our way into banana asana so that we can get a really nice side stretch here. The way that I like to come into this is I begin with my feet pressed into the mat and my knees bent. I then lift my hips up to the ceiling. And then I move my hips over to the left about three to four inches, and then allow my hips to come back down to the mat. After that, I extend my legs out. Then I bring my hands over my head and let them rest on the mat. First, I make sure that I have both sides of my hips down on the mat, but not you don't want one side pulling up. If it's available, you can cross the left leg over the right at the ankle. Once you get here, decide if you want to take this deeper or if this is okay. So if you feel good here, just stay here, breathe, enjoy the stretch. But if you're not feeling much and you want to feel a little bit more of a stretch, then tuck the chin in. Inhale, lift those shoulders off of the mat and move yourself over to the right. Then you should really feel a stretch. Make sure that the left side of the hip doesn't come up off of the mat. We want both sides really pressed in here. Hold this back to your three part breathing. Keep your focus inward.
manifest with uncross the ankles, bend at the knees, bring your feet to the mat, straighten out your spine by lifting your hips. And then from here, let's just take a full body stretch just to straighten everything back out. If you'd like, you can also release here by squeezing the knees into the chest, if that feels good. You're also welcome to send the feet up to the ceiling, maybe pointing and flexing the feet here. Let us transition to the other side. So bending at the knee, planting the feet into the mat, lifting the hips. This time they go to the right about three to four inches and then come back down to the mat. Make sure that both sides of the hips are planted into the mat. Extend out the legs. And if it feels right, you can cross the right ankle over left. And then bring the arms overhead. So first, just find the pose and then decide what you need. If you want to take this deeper, tuck the chin in, lift the shoulders, move to your left, and then come back down. Be sure that everything is grounded into the mat. Rolling here, enjoying your breathing.
And then inhale, let's transition out of this, uncrossing the ankles, bending at the knee, planting the feet into the mat, lifting those hips, straightening out the spine here, and just begin to release by taking a full body stretch, straightening everything back out. If you'd like, you can follow this up either with, with some windshield wipers or you can squeeze those knees into the chest, keeping the tailbone tucked into the mat. You can either rock side to side, whatever release feels good to you. Just remember to keep all of your movements very mindful. You don't want to be flopping around like fish. You want to be moving in a very smooth and mindful manner. Free to even extend the legs to the ceiling, pointing and flexing each other. All right. From here, if there are any final releases that you need, such as a happy baby, with happy baby, we send the soles of the feet up to the ceiling. We bend at the knee and we gently pull down on our feet from the outside pinky toe side. If you're struggling to get up to the feet without lifting the hips up off the mat, that's okay. We can just gently grasp behind the knees here, just gently, gently pressing down. You can even add some movement to this, swaying side to side, as long as that doesn't hurt the spine. Always, always want to respect our spine. All right, from here, let us find our way to our final resting pose, Shavasana. You can take any version that you'd like. Um, if you've got any props at home, you're welcome to use those. Maybe something behind the knees to relieve the lower back. It helps to press the lower back into the mat. Maybe you have a some kind of a small pillow that you can put behind the head. Maybe you have a, a throw blanket that you want to use. Whatever is absolutely up to you. Maybe you just want to take a traditional version of this. Let the feet be as wide as your mat. Shimmy the shoulder blades together beneath you. Let the palms face forward. Tuck the chin in slightly here. Whatever version is up to you. So once you get settled into your Shavasana, let go of any sort of control that you had over your breathing. Just enjoy your natural breathing pattern here. Feel free to bring your focus into your breathing, maybe watching it travel up and down your spine with each inhale and exhale. And just like we did at the beginning of class, begin to let everything release and soften. Feel confident knowing that the sensation of sinking into your mat is a good thing. You are not going to fall. You're simply going to be held by the floor, by your mat, by your props. Let the jaw relax and slide back. Let the eyes feel heavy in their sockets. Release the muscles across the forehead, the top of the head. Release the toes and fingers.
Begin to bring back your awareness. Begin to awaken the body, beginning with small movements here, maybe just flexing the fingers and toes. Begin to draw circles with your hands and feet. Even taking a full body stretch. Squeezing the knees into the chest, deepening your breath here. Slowly onto one side, continuing to deepen your breath. Been on our mats for a while, so the heart rate is really low. Whenever you're ready, on an inhale, press those hands into the mat, lifting yourself up, <clears throat> coming to just a comfortable seated pose. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today, um, especially under these sort of unusual circumstances. But despite that, it has been an absolute pleasure for me to practice with you today. And as always, thank you so much for letting me be part of your self-care. Namaste.